Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to Top 5 Friday. Today we are doing something a little different. We are jaunting away from books and we are going to talk about, well you read the, the, the title already, we're talking about my top 5 movies of all time. We're going to start with three honorable mentions right off the bat and those are, in no particular order, Repo, the genetic opera, um, when we get to my top five, uh, there's only one musical uh, that I like more than this. <laughs> You've probably already figured it out uh, by me picking this one. Uh, this, this movie is terrible and amazing at the same time, and that's going to be a theme for my favorite movie also. Um, the very first time I saw this, I rented it from Blockbuster. In fact, I think I got this copy of the... No, it's from Edge Video. I'm sorry. Uh, it wasn't from Blockbuster. But the first time I got this, I rented it from Blockbuster. I ended up buying it um, after I saw it. Uh, I don't know what it is about some of the songs in here. Bill Mosley especially cannot sing with a crap. Paris Hilton is terrible. But I love it. It's just one of those guilty pleasures. So there's an honorable mention for you. Uh, next up, we have... Stephen King's, well, not Stephen King's, sorry, It, from 2017. That's, that's so dark. And is this the 4K Blu-ray edition? Um, but, uh, yeah, I can watch this movie over and over and over again. It's, uh, it's up there. It's definitely in my top ten, um, but this is top five Friday. You know, F. We gotta be alliter alliterative here. So, yeah, It. Love this movie. Um, I've been watching it, I I'd probably say, about once a month ever since it hit Blu-ray. So, next up, this one, it, this one's far more polarizing than I thought it was. Again, this is still an honorable mention, but The Lost Boys. There are a lot of people who say this movie doesn't hold up. I've been watching this since I was a kid, and my opinion of this movie has not changed. The soundtrack, the acting, the story, the concept, everything about this movie, for me, rocks. So let's jump into, it's also insanely quotable, almost as quotable as, like, The Monster Squad and some of the movies, the rest of the movies on my list. Um, the Frog Brothers, it's, oh, they're amazing. I mean, come on. Okay, so at number four, we have the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Um, I first saw this movie when I was six. I didn't understand it at all <laughs> whatsoever. Um, the, uh, the, there's, th this is such, this film was such a happy, accident. Tim Curry is amazing in this. Um, his portrayal of Dr. Frank Furter, uh, it is Frank Furter, right? Not Frank and Furter? Anywho, I just recently watched this with my daughter and she fell in love with it also. I don't know too many people that I am friends with that do not like this movie or love this movie. Um, it, it does start to not be as good in like the last, I don't know, about 10 minutes of the movie, but everything up until that point, it's some of my favorite cinema ever shot. Okay, next up, this is actually, I'm, I'm having problems with the tie for number three and number four. So, I'm, you, you guys decide which one is above the other, and I'm just going to go by what I have in the stack. Um, I have the, this is a three movie thing, it's got Goonies, Gremlins, and Gremlins 2, but my number three or four is Goonies. Uh, it's just one of those movies that I can sit down and watch anytime and I'm automatically transported back to being a kid. And yes, I do a mean truffle shuffle. Okay, next. I'm not doing it on camera. Stop. Don't get out of the comments. I'm not doing a truffle shuffle on video. No, but maybe if you ask. No, don't. I can't. I couldn't do it. I won't do it. Next up. <laughs> number three or number four, you guys choose down there in the comments, is Stand By Me. This one's easy. I mean, I've talked about my love for this movie. Every single time I bring up uh, different seasons, every single time I bring up the body, I bring up the movie right along with it, because to me, they're, they're equals. Even, even though the, the big difference is um, the movie occurs in Oregon, and the book occurs, of course, in Castle Rock, Maine. They both occur in Castle Rock. It's just different states that it occurs in. So, number two on my favorite movies of all time is RoboCop. I don't have the, the disc with me. I apologize. Kit Power, if you ever watch this, and by the way, go, go listen to Kit Power 
watch, watching RoboCop with Kit Power. I'm going to leave a link down there in the doobly-doo so you guys can go check that out. But I did an episode where we just sat and watched RoboCop together. And he, he's, there's a whole back catalog of people he's talked to. It's amazing. Um, but it's a podcast. So you can sit there and listen to it. You can watch the, the movie along with us. It's, it's amazing. Um, RoboCop was the first R-rated film I ever watched. And if you want to know more about my love of the film and my experience with the film, please go check out my Watching RoboCop with Kit Power, which I will link, like I said, down in the doobly-doo. Finally, the, my number one film of all time. No, this is not a joke. I always have people say, you're kidding, right? No, I am not kidding. My favorite movie of all time is Howard the Duck. This is one of the first movies that I remember watching. Um, there is a lot of nostalgia. Um, there is a lot of emotions that come along with this movie. My first uh, celebrity crush, my first crush period, I think, was Leah Thompson. Um, and, and yes, it is very weird. The scene with her and Howard in the bedroom, and she's in the cami, or whatever, the, the, the nighty. The, it's awkward, but it's also, to me, extremely funny. Uh, Tim Robbins is in this movie. Jeffrey Jones, even though it turned out that he wasn't such a great dude. Um, wasn't such a great dude. The dude's a pedophile. But um, uh, every performance in here is pitch perfect. Even the ending, the CGI, not sorry, it wasn't CGI. The uh, claymation monster at the end, <laughs> the High Overlord or whatever they're called. Uh, everything about this movie is amazing to me. Even the, I mean, the part where he's working in the mud, uh, <laughs> in the mud baths. Um, the part where he's trying to find a job, he almost bites the lady on the butt. It's a great movie. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care if, uh, what was it, jo George Lucas had, had a hand in this. I think he produced it. I don't care if he's disowned it. Um, this is a fantastic movie, and it is my favorite movie of all time. So do you have a top five favorite m movies? Can you whittle them down? Can you whittle your fa favorite list down to only five? I couldn't even do it. I had to throw in some honorable mentions. If you can... Even if you want to post a hundred of uh, your top hundred, leave all that down there in the comments below. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been Top 5 Friday, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye